Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So Halo Infinite just got a new update, and that is none other than the BTB Refresh, which adds five community-made maps into the Big Team Battle playlist. So those five maps being Thunderhead, Fortitude, Refuge, which is a remake of Halo 2's Headlong, we also got Insolence and Obituary. Man, these are really well designed. They play so well with Big Team Battle. All these community-made maps are actually open, allowing vehicle play to really excel. Heck, on one of the maps, you even got like the OG teleporters where you could teleport across the map if you wanted to. And Obituary has this bridge in the center that has like multiple levels that you can fight on. And Insolence has this really cool landmark where there's a destroyed scarab that you can actually walk on and there's like equipment on there I think you can get. My only complaint is that there's no scorpion for whatever reason. I think every single map has like a wraith for the most part. Kind of odd how the scorpion's kind of getting blacklisted, but there's probably a reason for that. Fortitude also had this cool little center area where sometimes there'd be a hill there that you'd have to capture, where you just kind of had to like jump back and forth while fighting, trying to capture the hill and stuff like that. And there's not much I could say on refuge because that's pretty much just headlong. And I mean, headlong is already good as it is. So yeah, well done to all the creators that created these maps. I think they're absolutely stunning. My only problem with some of them is that I wish there was more unique aesthetics, but I think that's just because you're kind of limited with what you could do with Forge. I think it's mostly just UNSC stuff. There's now some banished stuff, so I would have liked to see like more of a banished map maybe to kind of mix it up a bit. Instead of just having your usual grassy lands and just rocks and stuff like that, I would have definitely liked something more unique. But I think it all makes up for that since they're all incredibly well designed and just flow so well and just allows, you know, everything to flourish. And I hope we continue to get more maps like this added to BTB, because I never really liked the original BTB maps that the game had at launch. They just felt super dull and just restrictive, and had many vehicle problems, because there was basically no vehicles. And even if there was some vehicles on those maps, like High Power and Fragmentation, it was, it was just hard to get across the map because everything was just so compacted together, it was hard to, like, not get killed while using a vehicle sometimes. And you couldn't really be creative as to like where you want to go and stuff. You gotta like go this exact path that was built for vehicles. Like I've gotten so many splatter kills on these maps because you're actually able to move your vehicles around. So you know that already says something. Now while all these maps are absolutely incredible and I enjoyed every single one of them, there is a downside to this update and I don't know why 343 continues to do this. Maybe there's a reasoning behind it. To my knowledge, you know, I don't know. Maybe one of you guys can explain it, give me like a good reason for this. But for whatever reason, they never make a dedicated playlist for the new content they put in the game they do do it sometimes but it's so inconsistent sometimes they do it and sometimes they don't like for example the cu29 update brought the illusion map and we got an illusion 24 7 playlist which is awesome but now for these new btb maps if you want to experience them you got to go through the rng or i guess you could say their map rotation even though i don't think it works properly so you're basically just forced to play some of the older maps if you get put in them unless you quit out but if you quit out a lot of times, obviously you're going to get like banned or timed out. And I'm not going to lie, I actually did leave quite a few games. And I'm sure there's probably an increased quit rate when new content like this gets added to certain playlists and people just, you know, want to experience some new stuff. So I definitely would have preferred a dedicated playlist for all these new BTB maps. Because I really do not want to play the older big team battle maps. I mean, even if they make it time limited, at least for like a week or something, would be nice. It doesn't have to be a permanent playlist, but you know, when you have new content, you should show your player base that, hey, look, check this out. We got all this new content here. You know, go ahead and, you know, try it out, have fun. Instead of trying to hide it in this uh, playlist. Another thing is something that's just been ongoing since Halo Infinite, which did drag down my experience quite a bit. And that's, of course, the network. You know, it's been, it's still terrible. There's times where my rockets would like curve or something like that, or I would just like lag a bit. I would rubber band. So I'm really hoping that they get that new network fixed out because honestly, it's hard to enjoy Infinite it with all that kind of connection stuff going on. I also encountered a glitch on Thunderhead, or I guess you could say a bug, I don't know if it's a glitch. I don't know how this happened, but someone got a power seed stuck under rubble, which was pretty funny, and no one was able to get it out. I was trying to like grapple it and throw grenades, but yeah, nothing was working, so they probably need to remove that rubble. Another thing that was really weird with this new update is that the map Illusion, which was a new map that came out with the CU29 update, which was a fantastic map, it was pretty good. 
I mean, it was pretty three laned, but I think it was definitely still one of the better maps that Infinite has to offer. It got completely removed from every playlist, so it's not in Team Slayer, uh, what else, Quick Play, all the other playlists. It just got completely removed from every single playlist. I don't know why, that is so odd. I don't know if that was intentional or maybe they just can't add more maps, that's kind of crazy. But yeah, Illusion is completely gone, you cannot play it unless you do like custom games or something like that. But other than that, it's completely removed, so for people who want to try out the new map, well, I guess you're just out of luck. So they definitely need to fix that. I don't know how that happens, but it's pretty hilarious. So other than that, that's pretty much what this update offers. So let me know what you guys think. Consider subscribing and liking the video as it shows your support, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.